It's the NFL on EA Sports. And coming up next, it's a cross-conference showdown. It's the Chiefs and the Falcons under the lights on Sunday night. Near feeds from where the Georgia Dome stood and the Falcons played for a quarter century. We're looking at the team's home since the 2017 season. Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Hello, everybody. Alongside Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, let's dive right in. What are you looking forward to in this one? Yeah, just about everything, Kate. These are two such evenly matched teams. You and I know there's going to be two, three, four plays in this game that will likely define the outcome. That is the beauty of the NFL each and every weekend, each and every Thursday and Sunday and Monday night. They come down to a couple plays. Who will they be? What will... Touchdowns he had last week, Kate. He traded every one of them in exchange for a victory. It's team over individual for him. So even though he himself is coming off the exact type of showing you want, that kind of efficiency usually wins you games. He's not happy about it. And he will be focusing on rectifying those things here. They go play action on first. And he catches May down the right sideline. It's a game of 22. Falcons will have a first. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Got a man. Coverage lost and complete. And he gets it down to the 35 before stepping out. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. They're set up at the 35 now. They'll run here on first down. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. Third and four coming up now. Looking to throw, Bennett. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Play action on first down. He's in trouble, and the Chiefs bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. Gets this one to Watson. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Chiefs in a nickel set for this third down call. Trying to throw here out of the gun. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage of this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Or he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And the opening drive, the game ends in three points. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. 
Well, here come the Chiefs, taking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading him out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. That's a loss last week, Kate, that he wears. He's worn it all week long, and I know he isn't the only guy out there. There's 11 on the side on every play. A couple of interceptions. He's going to hold himself accountable. A lot of work's gone into making sure this week's game is an improvement on that. And his first stop point of the game winds up incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. And that'll bring up second down. Looking to throw. Carr. Connects with Slayton. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. And it's a dime look from the Falcons now. Third down coming. Here's Carr. That's caught for the first. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Big gain, 14 on the play. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Has the connection to Ridley. And he gets it through the midfield stride, but onto the Falcons side of the field. Second and six coming up here. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I think with that call, they were trying to set him up with a short third down run. But he said, uh-uh. Nope, not on my watch. I'll just go get it all right here. Now, playbook's wide open for first and ten. Shakes off the defender, and it's a foot race. And finally, they're able to bring him to the ground. Now we'll take a moment to check out his numbers on the ground from a week ago. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. It's a design boot. Able to find Peoples-Jones here. And they take him down right along the 30. Battle coming up on third and inches. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And his short gain gets them a new set of downs. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Now Carr. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. So second down coming up. Throwing from the gun here. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. Following that completion, remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out to take a look at him now. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. From the red zone now. Cut near the goal line. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs pull ahead 6-3 in the first. Calvin Ridley with the touchdown. So an absolutely beautiful throw there, finding his man in space who turns it into six. Yeah, they really took advantage there, Kate, of some soft coverage. You want that on that corner route. Plenty of space for that route to develop. Great execution, and it pays off with the touchdown. Jake Moody on for the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. On to the field comes the Atlanta offense for the second time. In the last 
drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. On first down, they'll run. And they'll only find one yard up the gut. Second down. To throw here's Bennett short pass caught by his tight end and a nice game here but it stopped short of the first third down one yard to go Bennett he has the first over the middle and that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot you know, they call that the money down for a reason because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Offense set for a first and ten. Go. Bennett now to throw. The Chiefs get to him and he's dropped. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Sometimes I wish everybody could feel what that feels like. <laughs> when you're a QB and you just feel the air in the pocket getting sucked out and you know there's no escape, it can be just one heck of a deflating feeling. Not for that defense who puts a sack on the board. So after that completion, we've got a player in some visible discomfort. And here come the trainers to get him some help. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Bennett throwing here. Foreman there to haul it in. And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball. Kate, okay, hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape from the act. Instead, it goes backwards. And he gets down to the 24 before he stops. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. He's got Watson. And he gets this down inside the red zone before going out. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 19. Watson with the catch. And they get this down to the seven yard line. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. They'll throw it again. He's on the move. He stays up. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. They broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that could create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. That one right down the middle. Continue adding to their lead. Blankenship all set for the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. He lost the football. And the fumble recovery is made. Now for the second time, we get a look at this Kansas City offense. They just witnessed maybe the most impressive drive we've seen all game, Brock. And now they get a chance to answer with one of their own. 
Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Carr setting the throw. Finds Woods. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Over the middle, Cox, complete pass. They'll get 18 yards there. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Got a man, coverage lost him, complete. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. That one goes for 31 yards and a first down when all is said and done. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. They are throwing it again. Has his man. It's Ridley. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to move in the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First down from the red zone. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs take a field goal lead in our opening quarter. J.K. Dobbins with the touchdown. You always tell me, Brock, it is a whole different world here, running routes, working in confined spaces, instead of having that whole field to spread out a defense. Oh, spot on, Caden. Some players, that's the world they thrive in. Finding windows where windows shouldn't exist and then being ready for the throw to arrive. It happens so fast. Trusting your quarterback to make the right read and get it to you. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Running left, here's Foreman. And this one doesn't go far. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Gets this one to Watson. Duke the defender. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. So before they can get set and snap it, the clock runs out on quarter one. Neither side separating much so far. We'll make our return to Mercedes-Benz Stadium after this. Back for our second quarter. It's Falcons football. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. Now Bennett. Ooh, fired a dart there, but it's not going to be brought in. Oh, those linebackers. Those linebackers. They seem to be in the thick of every play and some of the quickest reaction times out there. He needed a quick reaction there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. A lot of speed on it. Too tough to handle. Incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So they're left facing third and long. McDuffie. 
Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. And the fair catch made here at the 15. The Chiefs and Derek Carr about ready to get back to work. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And the Chiefs will be backed up a good bit to begin the drive. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Straight ahead. Here's Dobbins. And he gets a few on the punch forward. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. A good defensive play breaks that one up. And that brings up third down. Back now, pressure on its way. Someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the defense. That's interference. Defense. So the interception's going to be remembered by the fans here, partner, but not by the official score. The interference call takes that away. They'll run here following the penalty. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Throwing is gone. Able to find Peoples Jones here. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. And the Falcons get a fifth defensive back out there, third down coming. He gets this one to Peoples Jones. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Here's Carr. That's going to be caught by Everett. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 38. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. That's a pickup of nine. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Carr. And it's caught. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the red zone now. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs grow their lead off the turnover. On is Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Now to kick it away. Here's Moody. Kickoff taken at the three. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. They're out and set. First and ten. By the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. Second and ten. We need to get some positive yardage here. The they send the tight end in motion left. Second and ten now. Here's a throw on the out route. Complete. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. 
third and a lone yard coming up. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. Win the early battle. Get the leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. Sticking with Foreman here. And he's just spinning his wheels, man, this entire first half. They drop him behind the line. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. He picks up 15 on the play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Back to throw. Here's Bennett. Brought in by Hollins. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Second and six coming up here. Second and six at the 40-yard line. Here's Bennett. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. Looking to throw. Bennett. It's complete to Hollins. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot? He can't get away. They get the sack and force a turnover on downs. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Looking to throw, Carr. Ooh, almost a throw that cost him. Defender had it in his hands. He dropped it. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. A give to Dobbins out of the shotgun. And he gets this one to the 49 on a solid pickup. They get about four there. Need a little more than that now on third and six. Car to the air now. Connects with Slayton. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He could take it to the house. Throwing with a blitz on the way. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30. You're right at the 31. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. From the 31, this finds Everett complete. And he has it down to the 8-yard line on the play. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. Working inside the red zone. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs parlay the interception into points. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah, because <laughs> they want to put a touchdown on the board. On is Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Jake 
Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Sean Murphy punting in to pick it off. And the Chiefs are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Well, I know I don't need to tell you, partner, but if you're going to try to get aggressive, really push a throw downfield like that, you have to be smart about how you do it. Yeah, that is spot on, Kate. If you've got to find that spot when you know the coverage won't be able to hold up, especially as you go 20, 30, 40 yards down the field. Hey, listen, these defenders in the league today, you throw a ball deep down the field like that, it turns into a 50-50 ball. More times than not, they can make a play and take it away just as they did. Big catch made, and he got both feet in. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Carr setting the throw. And he goes down. The Falcons got to him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Get into the red zone and every detail matters. It matters on the whole 100 yards. But, Kate, once you get inside this red zone, it is so critical. And let's tip our cap to the defense on the details. Creating that sack. Falcons going nickel to defend this third down play. Car back to throw. This throw is cut. And they're going to get this down to the four before being stopped. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much at training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, and you can make a play in the open field. Keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Now Carr. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs capitalize on the turnover and add to their lead. On is Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Now here come the Falcons on offense. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. They bring Thomas in motion. They'll begin with a quick completion to the right side. And he pushes it up across the 30 before going out. Second and six coming up here. One of the tight ends motioning left. The give here on second. And he's still looking for the play that sparks the ground game as that one stopped for a loss. It's the two-minute warning now from Atlanta. It's the Falcons with seven to go here on third down. Bennett now to throw. That pass caught by Wongu. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. The Chiefs signal for a timeout. That's going to be their first. Wesley Harvin on to punt. 
And this will be his second effort of the contest. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Throwing his car. Pass caught by Ridley. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Ball at the 33 for first down. Throwing from the gun. That's going to be caught by Everett. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. At the 41 yard line. From the 41. The Falcons getting close and they take it down. The Falcons spend the first of their three timeouts. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. Inside handoff to Dobbins. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Timeout called by Atlanta. That's going to be at second. So fourth down on heads. Braden Mann for the punt. Only punted once in last week's loss. And he gets this one away. Taking it to 25. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. Hey! To throw, here's Bennett. Oh, this is getting ugly early. Intercepted again. And the Chiefs will take over as he reports his first interception of our season. Well, that's now two, Kate, that they've gotten him for picks in this game. He's got to be perfect. But you've got to protect the football. It is the greatest treasure you have as an offense. And this defense, well, they've got two in their pocket, and you know they're going to be going after number three. Here's Carr. Gets this to Slayton. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Carr. This one's caught. And they'll get this down nearly to the end zone. Instead, stopped at the two. Timeout taken by Kansas City. It's second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Goal to go. It's a pass play. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs get more points to end the lopsided first half. Calvin Ridley with the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups. And when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Falcons offense returning to the field a final time before the half. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Oh, it put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. Brought in inside the 20. The Falcons take a timeout to their final one. First down from the red zone. 
And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. So close to the end zone, but with time winding down, they're going to try for the field goal. His first kick was good, and his second look from 35 yards away. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's only a small chip, but it's still a 29-point advantage. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. They got first and ten, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. So we've arrived at halftime. The Chiefs with a lead so far on the road. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. As mentioned, this is the EA Sports Halftime Report. Time to take a look around the NFL and find out what's going on this fine Sunday. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, where it was the visiting Patriots come in and get the victory on the road. Aaron Rodgers, sharp in the victory, as his guys bounce back from a tough start to the year to claim victory number one. From there, it's off to the land to check on the Browns at home in the dog pound. And they were winners in that one over the visiting New York Giants. J.J. McCarthy leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. And lastly, on Monday Night Football, our first doubleheader of the year, Jaguars, Bills at 7.30, followed by Commanders and Bengals kicking off 45 minutes later. We saw a strong first half from the veteran quarterback, Derek Carr. He had a half of the ages. Touchdown pass after touchdown pass. He threw a month's worth of touchdowns in just those first two quarters of play. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half. Because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Chiefs ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And the type of game that he has been putting together. Wow, we're going to see some of these highlights now, Brock. And I expect a lot of times over the next week, too. He has thrown this offense to the end zone time and again. What a showing. This is one of the elite games that we have seen from him. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Looking to throw, Carr. Got Everett, and it's complete. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Shotgun handoff for Dobbins. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Even five on that carry, bringing up second and five. From the 48. Connects with Slayton. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. He manages a gain of eight there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Short side option here. He's running left. And they bring him down around the 34. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. Dobbins trying the right side. And he's brought down after a short game. Only a yard on the pickup, so that's going to bring them to third down and three. Car to the air now. He's finding a dart there, but it's not going to be brought in. Looking for the back that time. 
And that'll bring up fourth and three. Here's Jake Moody for the field goal. It's a 50-yard look from the right half. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And they didn't even need those points when you look at how impressive that lead is. The wind was at a sails, Kate, and it certainly helped that football fly true and right down the middle. And from that distance, to hit with that accuracy is one impressive shot. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Falcons and Stetson Bennett just about ready for their next try. And as we can see here, it hasn't been the easiest game for him to operate out there, right? Number of rough moments for him, this defense. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Tight end going in motion here. Bennett. Underneath it goes, catch made by the running back. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Here's second and two. Oh, on him quick there. And they bring him to the turf. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This is a time where you get in that huddle and you just look at one another and say, hey, let's get back in rhythm. Get back in rhythm. Get something good to feel good about. Sure, you'd love to get the first down, but more than anything, just find a positive play after a huge sack. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Bennett throwing here. Escapes the pocket. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. 12 yards on that play, and a good call nets him the first. Here's Bennett. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled for a short game. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Here's second and seven. Oh, no, they get him yet again. Sean Murphy cuts in to pick it up. And it's a pick six as he runs it in for the touchdown. But we all know getting the interception is the important thing, Brock. But how about this guy having the wherewithal to transition into a really nice return to then get the touchdown out of it, too? Yeah, that's a great point. We talk about it with receivers, right? Getting vertical right away after making uh -huh. a catch. Uh -huh. Same thing for these defenders when they make a pick. They secure the football, sure. But instantly, they go back to their offensive days. They want that touchdown, and they want a moment they won't forget. This return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Ball at the 33 for first down. Foreman running to the right. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Keeping it with Foreman. And this one does not go far. It's a gain of three for them. Still third and nine coming up. Back to throw. Here's Bennett. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. He'll field this one at the 24. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Kansas City offense set to take the field. 
And all the touchdowns are sure going to catch some eyes around the league. But sure not unexpected for those of us who saw how well he was throwing it back when he got his first couple of scores. Yeah, and if anything, he's only continued to improve and play better. Is this defense... Tried and... find any way to slow him down. They'll motion Slayton left. Oh, he taps it quick to the receiver coming across here. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they face second and long. Carr setting the throw. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Carr back to throw. And he goes down. The Falcons got to him. And the defense comes through. And that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kansas City sends out its punt team. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. Fielded at the 26. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And that is where they'll start the next drive. Here's first and 10 from the 34. First throw for the backup now. Catch made by Foreman. Head out of bounds after a small gate. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. He's out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Now how to throw. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked off by Ennis Rakestraw. And the Chiefs are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Well, Brock, it has been a special day for this defense when it comes to forcing turnovers. Big play after big play. And that is their fourth interception of this contest. Special for the defense and an absolute nightmare for a quarterback. One interception, it sticks with you all week long. But throwing four, he probably wishes he could be anywhere else on earth other than this field right now. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Sending the tight end in motion left. Now Carr. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. Second down now. Seven to go. At the Falcons. It's a give here for Dobbins. And he's brought down after getting this to the 17 into the red zone. Five yards on the play. They could just do that again. Third and two coming up. A five-yard pickup on the play. And it's third down. Motioning the tight end now. Here he is to throw on third and two. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Carr. Into traffic, complete. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Second and six coming up here. Second and six at the seven-yard line. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Got it. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion. So that effort up front wasn't in vain. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. 
All you can do is shake your head sometimes. Sure, the pass play works, but they come up just an inch or two short for the first down. Brock, this one, this one has gotten well out of hand. Uh, you think so? <laughs> I think this is utter domination. Going to be a lot of yeah. questions to be answered. I'm going to guess this is a press conference the coach isn't looking forward to. Mm. On is Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. Kickoff taken at the three. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And you know that interception is in the back of their minds as they head back out there now. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. Throw wheeled in by Thomas. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. They'll run now on second down. They cross the 40. Nice run there. The 30. He's at the 10. And he's in. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons continuing to fight at least. Wow, just sensational speed from the back that time, Brock. He found a seam, got through it, and he was gone. You know, it's one thing, Kate, to have singles hitters, right? And, and, and you, you love those, and you appreciate guys right. that can get on base. But it's the home run hitters that are the difference makers, and what a big-time effort. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Ship, all set for the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. Throwing his car. He completes it in traffic. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Second and three now. Putting the tight end in motion. Second and three. Has his man. It's Ridley. And he'll get it up to the 44. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. First down. Looking to throw, Carr. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Throw left side, complete. It's a pickup of nine yards. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. We'll set it down for him at the 38. Car to the air now. That's going to be caught by Everett. And he'll be brought down at about the 29. That's the end of the third on Sunday night. It's Chiefs football, and they've got to feel pretty good about this score entering the fourth. Options are open here. It's second and inches. 
from the 29. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. So now they have third and short. Here's Carr. He has the first over the middle. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. It's a game of three. First down, Kansas City. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest and gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. He'll throw it yet again. He finds Slayton. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. He's got it on a slant. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. And it's one of the records that's always there lurking in the back of your mind whenever a QB's having a really good game, right, partner? And we're just fortunate that we were here to finally see it fall. He's the first ever to throw eight touchdowns in a single game. Well, with that score right there, Brock, he has reached one of the pinnacles of playing quarterback here in the NFL. The most touchdown passes in a single game. And I can promise you, after this game, he's going to do... I remember Peyton and Marvin having a back and forth after breaking the record. Neither of them wanted the ball because they knew it took all of them. And I promise you, after the game at the podium, he'll say the same thing today. It's his name in the record book, but this is an offensive explosion for a day. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. We get that big old marker out. Cross a major number off his roadmap after that last drive. He's reached one of the marks that every back strives to hit at some point during the season. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Howell now. Tight end making the play there on the corner round. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Ball on the 45. First and 10. Here's Howell. Got a man. It's Thomas. And he's taken down right along the 30. It's a pickup of 26. And the Falcons will have a first. Throwing now on play action. He sends this one to the end zone. Too far out of the back of the end zone it goes. Incomplete. Thought he had a touchdown there. And it sets up second down. Motioning Watson left. Second and ten now. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Picked off Reed Blankenship. The team total is now up to five, Brock. Five times they've picked this offense off. Say it a third time for me, Kate, would you? Twist the knife for all the fans of this offense watching at home. Five interceptions in one game. You just got to marvel at how well they played in coverage from start to finish. Yeah, this goes beyond marveling. This goes to best-case scenario in their game plan. This is one of those special games where absolutely everything is clicking. These defenders, it's like they're seeing the entire field in perfect 2020 vision. Carry here for Dobbins. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. 
I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. Now Carr. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. A tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. They'll run here on first down. And he gets it through the midfield stripe, but onto the Falcon side of the field. There's a stoppage now for an injured player. It's never what you want to see, but especially this time. That's Calvin Ridley who's the one being looked at. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And he maybe got back to the line there, but no further. Third down, one yard to go. Carr back to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the sticks. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the running. You're fighting the good fight. You even rip through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's second and 11. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Third and 10. Can this offense get it done? Carr setting the throw. Pass is hauled in by the running back. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. And looking at the scoreboard, Brock, I think they can weather the miss there. Something I would have never said 20 years ago, Kate, when I started this business, but it rattles through my big old noggin now. That miss really has an effect on fantasy football owners more than anybody else. Imagine the poor soul somewhere, anywhere, who ends up losing the fantasy this week specifically because of that miss. Rolling left, buying some time. He's going to keep it this time. They gain 14 on the play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Howell back to throw. Watson with the catch. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Second and five at the 37-yard line from the 37 down the middle complete and he's able to get this down to the 13 they're now set for first and 10 they send one of the tight ends in motion right working inside the red zone oh he got hit as he was throwing and unsurprisingly it falls incomplete second down coming up Throwing it again here. This one's caught. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Throwing now. Howell. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons still in a lot more as they shrink the deficit. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design? 
Oh, did he just see space? So we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to Previous see if this was indeed review. a touchdown. All right, Brock, so six points hinge on whether he secured that football without it hitting the ground. Yeah, and I'm not surprised. Most defensive-minded head coaches, when there's a score at play here, points at play on the board, you're going to take the risk and make this challenge. So the celebration can resume on that sideline. The touchdown stands. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Blankenship all set for the kickoff. Return starts at the nine. Find some space, he's past the 30. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year's over. On first down, they'll run. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's a solid seven-yard pickup on first down. Now they're going to have second and three. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. That one ends up a gain of six. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Well, looky here. You don't even have to worry now about a third down call as that run moves the sticks. Now that call you had ready, though, you can recycle it. Save it for later for that next third down call. And he drives into a pile of defenders and is stopped right at the line. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Running it again with Dobbins. And the defense waiting for him at the line, and he goes down. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Looking to throw. Carr. Into traffic. Complete. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. That takes us to the two-minute warning here in KC. Chiefs nearing their second win in the campaign. The Chiefs bringing out their punt team. Braden Mann will kick it away. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. And that's going to pin them as deep as it can go. They're going to be set up inside their own five-yard line. Here's the Falcon offense headed out. And they'll get one final chance in a game that, uh, to put it mildly, Brock, has been a bit of a miserable experience for him. He'll throw it from his own end zone. He's got Watson. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. And he's going to reach his own 20 before stepping out. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into the coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. It's a pickup of 11, and the Falcons will have a first. He'll throw it yet again. That's Thomas. He's got it. And this one doesn't go far. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes, you can't get to win-win. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. First and ten. Ball set up at the 48. Still sticking with the passing game. Thomas. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. And they've got themselves another first and ten. They'll throw it again. 
To the sideline it goes. He's got to be on the marker. It looks like he stayed in as well. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. They were in this 12-yard out route came to combine, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. It's a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative when the best of them make it look oh so easy. And oh, he got it! Interception! Picked off Reed Blankenship. That's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. The Chiefs offense out to take over. And even with three timeouts left on the other sideline, they have this one wrapped up. We'll see if they even use those timeouts. They're out and set. First and ten. Campbell going in motion left. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Kid, I knew it at the time. I think everybody did. We knew the Legion of Boom was special. Like that entire secondary, but their safety's ability. Earl and Cam to come downhill to make those tackles behind the line of scrimmage as he just did. Yeah, I mean, you appreciate great safety play like that. So it's a win for the visiting Chiefs. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work, and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. That does it for another broadcast of the NFL on EA Sports. With my partner in the booth, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. It's a win for the Chiefs as we say goodbye from Atlanta.